Hey, this is Tyler Leibrandt from Curon ISD, and I have been getting a lot of questions about YouTube, how to upload your own YouTube videos, and then edit those YouTube videos. So here is part one of how to upload and edit your YouTube videos. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you need to have a YouTube account, which means you need to have a Google account because Google owns YouTube. So if you go to google.com, you can sign up or log in. You can see I'm logging right here. The next thing you're going to want to do once you have that account is you want to go to your apps and then go down to YouTube, which is right here. If you can't find it, if you keep scrolling down, you will eventually find it. Um, so I'm going to click on YouTube. And once I am here, I need to do one of two things. If it's my first time uploading a video, then you can click your upload button here. Now there's a couple ways people upload. If you hit this button on your computer, that means you have a file already on your computer that you want to upload. So if you took it off your camera and um, plugged your camera into your computer to download that video to your computer, then you would have it on your computer. If it's on your mobile device, you can always download the YouTube app and upload through it that way, which that's probably the easiest way. But like if I'm making a screencast on my computer right now, then my screencast would save to my computer and I can just search my computer for it. Now it's pretty neat. I can select files. So when I click on that, it's going to search my computer for that file. But you can set those presets right here. If I want it public, anybody can search for it and watch it. Unlisted. Um, only people that have the link can view that. So people cannot search for that video. Private, nobody has the link. Nobody can view it but myself. So think of those three settings before you upload right here. Um, so let's say I already have a video uploaded and I want to check it out and edit that. That is going to be in your channel. And there's two places that you can find that. Your video manager or you can go down to videos. I'm going to go to video manager right here. And I'm then going to go down to the video that I want. And you can see a couple things here. You got your video, uh, you got your views over here, and you have um, how it is how that is viewed on the internet. This is unlisted. Only people that have the link can watch it. This is public. Anybody can watch it. Or this one's locked, which means private. So let me pull up a video here. And I'm going to edit this just where it says edit. And when that happens, you're going to see a couple um, tabs in the top. This is where you're going to edit your video. Another thing is you can always customize your thumbnail or what the video is going to look like. The capture or the picture of that on YouTube. And so if I want this video to have that picture, I can just click on that one. And then save my changes. But I want to enhance or add audio to it. So you can just click on enhancements. And it's going to take you to the video editing page. And I can completely change all of this stuff. I can add slow motion or time lapse, speed it up. I can trim the clip if there's parts that I don't like. Um, you know, you have all your customizations right there. The next is audio, and that gives you multiple different songs to choose from. So you can search from, like it says, 150,000 plus. Um, I'm going to go to annotations, and this is this is the neat part the annotations where while my video is playing I can have cards pop up that say something or have the, the, the users click on a link to watch a different video so let's say this is uh, video part one and I want students my students to click on the second part once the video is over I can add an annotation which will do that so you can choose what one you want I'm gonna add a label and you can see this pops up now, whatever I type inside the box will go in that label. So I'll just say click here for part two. I can change you know, my fonts and my, my size and my color, but I'm not going to worry about that. And since they're going to click on part two while watching the part one video, I'm going to drag this towards the end of my video. That way it's not in the middle interrupting. And I'm going to link that to a different video. So the other video I'm going to pull over here, just for kicks and giggles because I don't have a part two of this one yet, is I'm going to grab this URL of a Quizlet video and control C. And now I'm going to paste that right here with control V. Now you are able to add external links. So let's say 
you want to add your web page. So students watch the video, and then they can click on your web page from within the video. That's a little bit trickier. You have to go through quite a few uh, stages and processes to do that. So I'm just using the video uh, links right now. And you can choose to open it in a new window, or you can choose within the video that you're watching. So as I play the video right here, I'm going to turn this, the sound down. It's going to go through once it hits that six-second mark. That'll pop up. All right, so there it is. So if students put their mouse over top of that, they can see the text that I wrote in there, and then they can click the arrow to go to that video right now. Now, you've seen in some YouTube videos where they have, you know, these boxes all over the screen. Well, I can manipulate that and put them wherever I want. So if I have, you know, something on my screen here, I might put it up in the top corner where there's nothing in the way. So you can choose where you want that to be put. And like I said, you can add more annotations, but another thing like that is cards. <clears throat> it's pretty similar to the annotations, but with my cards, I can say I want a card of a video or a playlist. And so it searches your videos for you. You don't have to go digging for them. But this is just looking at your videos. So let's say I want to link this to, um, let's go using the Weebly app. I can create a card. And now what's going to happen is when that plays, you can see right here, here's a card that I have. But I can move that card to this. Let's go just right away in my video. So when my video plays, watch what happens. Okay, top right hand corner it is suggesting a Weebly app video. If users click on that I, then all of the cards that I put in there, all the videos that I am uh, wanting them to watch will show up and they can choose from here which ones that they want to watch. So that's how cards are different than your annotations because the cards are actual pictures and it has the image of the video in there. So I kind of like using cards better than annotations because your annotations they don't look that good you know it's just a box and you hover over it and you can see you know your your font there your text there so I don't like that as much as cards the last one is subtitles and closed captioning and this is neat if you have students that uh, cannot hear you can create your YouTube video and you can add um, your own text to it Now this will take a little bit, a little bit longer I haven't played with this part as much but it's a neat feature to have if you have students that cannot hear, you can add those closed captionings.